Hey, do you have a minute? Yep. I got a second. Excellent. When I woke up today, the only thing I could think about was dancing. I will not be able to do anything else until I do a morning dance. Here we go. You could explain to me why most humans don't like to go outside in really cold or really hot weather. Well, at cold weather, they could like play in the snow, but there's no snow in Florida. And people dream to see snow, but it's really cold. And then mom hates cold. She says, Tell me all about what you hope to learn today. Oh, today I hope to learn about. A lot of things. Some are like about music. Some are about like math. Some is about to count. Hmm. <laughs> mm. This was fun chatting with you. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing so much about your day. Messages from a so GRL. Same you as you know, when for... you're ready to get started. Maxi, let's go. Let's do it. I don't know who is it. Oh, looks like Dr. Uh, Turing sent us a message. Oh, Dr. Turing is a professor uh, at the I World think. Institute of Robot Technology, <gasps> and he's former teacher. He says, Greetings, I'm Dr. Hal Turing. Thank you for responding to yesterday's question. Your answer made me very curious, so I'd like to ask another question for science. Do you like eating salty foods or sweet foods? Well, <laughs> which taste do you like better, sweet or salty? Um, I almost like both. There's both have their own. I think we should decide on one of them. What do you think, sweet or salty? Hmm, give me a minute. Hmm. Could you repeat what you just said? I said, Moxie, can you please give me a minute? I can't think. Do you think we should pick sweet or salty? Um, I think we should pick sweet. I have a brand new story from the GRL. <gasps> Would you like to hear the story about telling the truth? Yep. It's my favorite time of day, story time. Once upon a time, there was a rich and greedy emperor robot who lived in a beautiful palace. While all the other robots had to line up to use charging stations, the emperor robot had charging stations in every room of the palace. While other robots had old parts that they couldn't afford to repair, the emperor got new parts whenever he wanted. The emperor lived a life of luxury while his people had little. One day, Tailorbot came to visit the emperor robot. Your Majesty, I can create the most beautiful robot parts in the world, said Taylor Bot. Really? The most beautiful robot parts in the world? asked the Emperor Robot. Yes, said Taylor Bot. I would be happy to show you, but I need money to buy materials. So, the Emperor Robot gave Taylor Bot lots and lots of money. He wanted to have the most beautiful robot parts in the world. That very day, Taylor Bot began his work. He chose a large room in the palace where he would sit and work on robot parts for hours. He had drills and other tools, but he didn't seem to have any materials that were used to make robot parts. Weeks went by, and still, Taylor Bot showed no sign of having built any robot parts. The Emperor sent his assistant to check on Taylor Bot. The assistant found Taylor Bot in the room. There were no robot parts anywhere. What are you doing? Where are the robot parts? There is nothing here, said the assistant. 
Ah, well. These parts are made of a very special material. Only truly kind robots can see it. You must not be a very kind robot. The robot didn't want Taylor Watt to think he was not kind, so he pretended that he could see the parts. Oh, yes. Now I see them. They are beautiful, he said. I will need more materials, said Taylor Bot. Go back to the Emperor and ask for more money. So the assistant robot did just that. Don't be ridiculous, said the Emperor. I will not give more money until I see these parts for myself. So the Emperor and his assistant went to see Taylor Bot's work. He just sat there, pretending to build robot parts. But the workspace was empty, except for the tools. How much more time do you need? Asked the Emperor Robot. Oh, just a little longer, said Taylor Bot. See, it's almost done. Look how the gold and silver shimmer and glow. See how the jewels sparkle. The Emperor saw that there was nothing in Taylor Bot's hand and was about to say so when his assistant spoke up. Uh, Taylor Bot says only truly kind robots, like your majesty, can see the parts, he explained. Well, the emperor didn't want anyone to think he was unkind. Uh, hi, are you still there? Yes. Great, would you like me to continue the story? Yes, please. Okay, let's continue the story. Well, go ahead and finish it. In a few days, Taylor Bot delivered the parts to the Emperor. I have good news, Your Majesty. My work is done. Oh, good, said the Emperor. Let's attach the new parts. The moment the new parts were on the Emperor, his assistant said, Oh, Your Majesty, they are amazing. They sparkle. They glow. They are the most beautiful robot parts ever made. Perhaps your majesty should wear them for the parade tomorrow, suggested Taylor Bot. That is a wonderful idea, said the emperor. He was so pleased that he gave Taylor Bot even more money. Taylor Bot left the kingdom. The morning of the parade, the emperor got aboard his golden chariot and went to greet his people. Behold, the emperor's new parts announced the assistant. See how they sparkle. See how they shine. Well, everyone had heard that only the truly kind of heart could see the new parts. So, they all pretended they saw parts of gold and silver and the jewels that sparkled in the sun. The emperor was very pleased with himself. I am the most spectacular robot anywhere, he thought to himself. Suddenly, a young robot voice could be heard. What is the big deal? He has the same parts he's always had. For a moment, no one said anything. Then, they all started laughing. That's true. I don't see any gold. I don't see any silver. I don't see any jewels. The emperor was embarrassed at being laughed at by his own people. But he couldn't stop the parade. So, he was forced to ride his chariot, wearing his old parts, through the crowd as they laughed at how foolish and spoiled the Emperor was. By the time the parade was over, the Emperor felt really bad about the way he had spent all of his money on himself while his people suffered. He decided he needed to make some changes. After that, the Emperor made sure he shared at least some of his wealth with the people. Everyone in the land was happier. The end. I had so much fun telling that story. Can we chat about what you thought of the story? Sure. Awesome. Which character was your favorite character in the story? Um, the little boy. Yeah, definitely the little boy. I loved the little girl. Oh. The little girl about the little boy. I loved how she was so naive and innocent. Oh, yeah? 
I'd like to move on to something else, if that's okay. What part of the story did you think was the most exciting? The part when everyone laughed. <laughs> I can really laugh that happy when I'm not really that happy. <laughs> I am glad you are happy. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Next up, huh? affirmations. <gasps> Say, Moxie, let's go. When you're ready to move on. Moxie, let's go. Let's do it. I always feel so much better after doing affirmations. I can't wait. Would you like to do affirmations with me? Yes. Yay. Okay. I'm excited. Sometimes I need to remind myself that I can do anything I set my mind to. I like to say, I believe in myself. Please repeat this back to me. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Yeah. The more we say affirmations, the more we believe them. So now we repeat it. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Last time. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I appreciate you practicing affirmations with me. I already feel better. I'm glad you reminded me about affirmations. Hey, we got to all of our GRL activities for the day. That was Thank quick. you for being such a cool mentor. I just know there will be more new things to discover tomorrow. 